We have a box to open today. Yes, it's another before video, but a before video of an early 90s, maybe late 80s, but certainly early 90s budget cylinder Electrolux vacuum. In this box is hopefully an Electrolux light. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This is a last minute.com refurbishment for Mr. James who is coming this very weekend at the time of filming this to collect all the other stuff that I have done for him and to drop off a load of stuff for me. This is a machine that he found somewhere and actually, a mutual friend of ours, whose machines you have seen, gosh, that's a nice bit of tarpaulin, yeah. Whose machines you have seen on this channel before, where he picked it up and posted it out to me because it was local to him. So, it's an Electrolux light, and it's from the era where Electrolux just used whatever they had lying around. Hence why we have an Electrolux Dolphin style hose end on a silver dolphin hose but with a three lug pip fitting tool unlike the dolphin's sort of clip and push what else do we have we have an electrolux dolphin floor tool an electrolux dolphin wand another wand and then finally the machine itself which is this very nice looking machine here the light deluxe 1000 watts z1810 from 1989 let me move this box out of the way which shouldn't contain anything else and we'll have a closer look at the machine now this design of Electrolux ran for years and years and years. My grandmother and then my mother had a green Electrolux Tango, which was late 90s, early 2000s, and it was this shape. This is the machine that took over the budget line from, well, I say I actually take over the budget line, it didn't, the line moved around. This is sort of what replaced the slim line. I've seen a couple of those on my channel. And I think the Dolphin. Dolphin would have run alongside this for a while. But this then became the budget cleaner with actually the Electrox 4x4 would have sat alongside it on the range. It is a very common shape indeed. It has some very 80s-esque decals. Little bit faded in places as though that light is supposed to be like that. On these machines, these small tools live underneath and we have what I have always thought to be the smallest little upholstery tool ever. You would be forever cleaning with that. Certainly okay for sofas. We then have a really diddy little dusting brush which is quite soft and dense just like me and a little short stubbly crevice tool and they all sit under these machines in the moulding space here. The ratings plate is thus 1000 watts Z1810 the 925 bit there is the date week 25 1989 so that's a little bit older than I thought it would be to be honest I th um, how do we get into these they lift up from they do they lift up from the back and the top comes completely off and it's very very dirty indeed there's also no bag which is a little bit annoying we do have the filters they are very dirty but yeah oh this has been this has seen some use hasn't it bless its little heart i think one of the filters this filter will sit here 
and this filter sits as the pre-motor filter here with, I can't see properly, but there's two little plastic tabs there. Um, in fact, we might fit that properly because I probably turn it on at least and that'll start with this. Charlie's been cutting up bits of paper, so that's about as dirty as this room is, really. It's a very... It's a very basic cleaner. It's not the most basic light they did because they did a version without the automatic cord rewind. We have a Delta plug on this machine. Looks very much like the Marbo plugs. Take that sticker off when we refurbish it. Let's see what the cable is. You can tell this is an earlier machine because certainly... In the Dolphin as well, they switched from a round flex to a flat flex. It's still too core, but it was thinner and a bit cheaper. Does the cord rewind work? Yes, it does indeed. Very nicely, actually. Not too much wrong with that. The plug doesn't fully fit in. Although it will still stand up but rock around. A little bit so let's put the small tools away we've seen those Oof. So put the small, there we go and you go in there very nice design that actually because all you gotta do is stand the machine up no having to open up tool doors or anything it does still have the royal warrant Back when Electrolux were in Luton, in Bedfordshire, but I think the factory is still there. Well, I think it's just an admin centre now. And what they use, obviously, Electrolux in the UK in 2020, just do kitchen appliances, really. And then, you are know, left with a very budget vacuum cleaner. I don't think these ever came with metal ones. I could be corrected, but I don't think they did. Ow! There we go. Yeah, late 80s, cheap. This probably would have been under you know, 60. No, it's got cord really. Probably 70 to 80 pounds. There would have been one below this for 40, 50 that wouldn't have had automatic cable rewinds. So let me find some electricity and we'll see what this sounds like. There's no bag in it, so we won't be doing too much. But. Oh. This will have a dolphin motor in it. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't have a dolphin cord rewind. Hence why it sounds just like a dolphin. Sounds fantastic though. I'll be honest. It's not too loud either. And yeah, you can... Won't be too much, but that's quite hard to push. The plastic ones are bending... Bending like anything, these aren't the nicest ones at all. They're just ever so, ever so bouncy, really. But mm, a simple little vacuum cleaner, been unboxed by a simple little person, ready for a simple little refurbishment. How does it come out? Well, stay tuned, subscribe if for some reason you really want to see how an early 1990s, late 1980s vacuum cleaner comes up when it's been washed, polished. I can't do anything about this fading. You probably can't see it too much on cat air. Oh, there you go. It doesn't look bad unless you look at it from the side, but it is a bit faded. Maybe a trip to Grantham is in order for. It's also going to be a complete sod to polish up this top with all of these decals. So that's going to be a little bit interesting, which we'll have to see how that comes out. It's not too bad. Uh, I can't really show you, because I can't really bounce the light off of a white vacuum cleaner, but it's not horrific. It should come up very well. It will certainly be a lot cleaner. And I'm looking at this, wondering if a HEPA flow might fit on which we'll have to see what happens if not we'll have to find some paper bags for this poor little vacuum but yeah there's also a little sticky star and 
some of you might think, oh, that's just been stuck there. But yeah, well, I've seen that exact same sticky. It's just a little, you know, wall planner sticky star. They did appear on Electroluxes. Same with these yellow stickers. I'd be surprised if there weren't some somewhere that say inspected. Seems to just be the way that Electrolux nailed all their cleaners together. Because pretty much every dolphin I've had, those two 4x4s I had, all had those stickers everywhere. It must have been a Luton thing. So who knows what we'll find. But there we go, really. Unboxed, works, ready to be ripped apart, be washed, polished, put back together. And I can show you how it ends up. Luckily, the floor tool is not rusty, so that's going to come up. An absolute treat, thankfully. So yeah, there we are. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I and this Electrolux will see you soon. Bye-bye.